Hey friends, so conjugation of AR verbs. Oh, this is so important, okay? This is not a quick video. I always say quick videos like five minute long. This is like a 10 minute video. So, so, so important foundational of communicating in Spanish and understanding how to read, write, and speak Spanish. So, let's get started. Subject pronouns, as I promised you all year, you have to know these, right? And these subject pronouns fit in a conjugation chart. Today is the day we learn what does conjugation mean? It, it all fits together, but yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, nosotras, ellos, ellas, ustedes, crucial, right? So these pronouns connect with and work together with the verbs. I dance versus I dances. No, 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 I dance and she dances. Right, so that's an English conjugation. Subject pronouns, we're good, we got these. A reminder, when we're looking at a conjugation chart, we go down the columns, the singular column, and then across, and then down the plural column. Ah, you, he, she, it, we, they, y'all. So it's remember, read the conjugation chart in a downward manner. Conjugation endings, AR verb endings. So AR verbs are any verb that in the infinitive form ends with AR. Hablar, visitar, trabajar, uh, caminar, cocinar, like doesn't matter. Any verb that ends with AR in the infinitive form, which is the root form of the verb, is an AR verb. Here are the endings. O, as, a, amos, an. So remember that a conjugation, a conjugation is a verb formed to fit a, sub, uh, a subject pronoun. So like, I is funny versus I am funny. Am and is are two conjugations of the verb to be, ser, right? So in, in English, we don't have as many conjugation endings as Spanish. Generally, it's just, we'll get to it, but here are conjugation endings. These endings, Communicate who is doing the action. All right, so subject pronouns, we know, and this is kind of what I was getting at earlier. In English, we don't have very many conjugation endings that are different. I dance, you dance, we dance, they dance, y'all dance. It's, it's the same verb, it's the same word, it's the same form. The only difference, we have this S, it's bold and red, right? She dances or he dances. Um, it dances all night long. My dog. It dances all night long. <laughs> um, these. Are, this is a conjugation chart in English, right? And notice it's still the same. It's the same verb. So in English, we have to say, we have to say, I dance or we dance, they dance to help clarify and provide clarity and understanding. Okay. In Spanish. Oh, as, a, amos, an. All of those conjugation endings are different. They're unique. So these conjugation endings communicate who is doing the action. And remember, the subject pronoun is the person doing the action of the verb. So if the verb is an AR verb and it ends with o, o, it, well, that means yo. Yo hablo mucho. I talk a lot. Yo escucho nunca. I never talk. Yo nunca. Nunca escucho, <laughs> or I never listen. Escuchar is the verb to listen. Um, tú caminas, you walk. Caminar is an AR verb, caminar. So you, tú caminas, ends with AS. So I know that it's you are the one that's doing it. All right, check this out. O, as, a, amos, an. O, as, a, amos, an. O, as, a, amos, an. Um... An. It's not ian, it's an. So, bailar, cantar, estudiar. It's different verbs completely, right? To dance or to sing, to study. Caminar, uh, cocinar is the verb to cook, or hablar is the verb to talk. Regular AR verbs have these endings, o, as, a, anos, an, in the present tense. So we're talking about just typical things or standard statements. Notice, bailo means I dance. Bailas means you dance. Or baila, ella baila, she dances or he dances. 
It's awesome. These endings communicate who is doing the action of the verb. Okay. You can also, you can also say, yo bailo or tu bailas, ella baila, el baila. Nosotros, we, right? Nosotros bailamos. It's a more redundant in Spanish, but it's okay. We still say, you know, it's correct to say nosotros bailamos toda la noche. We dance all night long, right? And we sing Lionel Richie. <laughs> nosotros visitamos nuestra abuela. We visit our grandma. Ellos visitan su abuelo. They visit their grandpa. So you can use the, the subject pronoun before the verb. It's totally cool. And we're going to get to that in just a second. Five examples, and then we have a little bit more to go. Trabajo. Trabajo en mis lecciones en mi dormitorio. I work, so trabajo is I work, because oh, oh, yo, yo trabajo. I work on my lessons in my bedroom. Or, like I said, you could, you could have the subject pronoun before it. It's fine. Yo trabajo en mis lecciones en mi dormitorio. I work on my lessons in my bedroom. Great. Yo trabajo is the same thing as saying trabajo. Tú bailas. Tú bailas muy bien. Ella no baila bien. You dance really well. She doesn't dance well. She does not dance well. Nosotros cantamos. Cantamos en el, en el carro. Todos los días. We sing in the car every day. You guys see my singing skills? I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. ¿Cantas tú en el carro? Do you sing in the car? ¿Cantas tú en el carro? Here's the, here's the, the preface for, for kind of the next thing. Look, nosotros cantamos. We sing. This is the, the subject pronoun before the conjugated verb, but here in a question, ¿Cantas tú? Do you sing? The, the subject pronoun is after the conjugated verb. Check this out. Subject pronouns are placed before the conjugated verb when making a statement. I work every day or we work every day. Great. Yo trabajo cada día. Nosotros trabajamos cada día. Yo and nosotros is before the verb. But in a question, subject pronouns are placed after the verb, after the conjugated verb when asking a question. Do you work every day? Or do they work every day? ¿Trabajas tú cada día? ¿Trabajas tú? And it's a weird, it's a different inflection. And also remember that in, when asking questions or writing questions in Spanish, you do the upside down question mark before. ¿Trabajan ellos cada día? Do, do they work every day? No, they don't. They're lazy. <laughs> All right, last, last five examples, and we are done with this introductory video. Ella visita con mi mamá todos los lunes. She visits, ella visita, visitar. Ella visita, um, she visits with my mom every Monday. Hablas mucho con, uh, hablas mucho con el profesor. You talk, because it's hablas, as. You talk a lot with the professor. Hablas mucho, tú hablas mucho. Estudiamos en la tarde. Con el maestro. We study in the afternoon with the teacher. Estudiamos. Amos is we. So we study. Patinan en el parque frecuentemente. They skate in the park. Ellos patinar. Patinar is to skate or skateboard. Um, patinan. They skate. Practico con el equipo tres veces a la semana. I practice, practico, oh, 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 all oh, matches with the yo, yo practico. I practice with the team, con el equipo, tres veces, three times, a la semana, per week. Quick introduction video, I say quick. Um, introduction video, there will be more conjugating AR verb videos, uh, and we'll look at it, break it down, the process, but here you go. Hopefully this helps. Comment below, let me know, reach out, how can I help you? We'll see you next time.